Hey there folks, I got a new knife for you. What I have here is the Nick Chopperin NCC Knives Micro MK1. This is a smaller version of his regular MK1, which um, if you saw uh, my, my Blade Show score from two years ago, I had a collaboration knife with Robert Carter and Nick Chumperin and that was a Mark God I can't remember what it was it was a Mark 1 but it was very similar in design this one again is the Micro MK1 by Nick Chumperin this has been a year in the making me and Nick brokered the deal at New York Custom Knife Show over a chicken sandwich now, if you guys are customers of Nick, you know there's some kind of a form you have to fill out. And if you saw my walkthrough video of his shop, you saw that he had a couple of MK1 micros with cards with the orders by customers and the specs that they wanted and the milling that they want, the steel that they wanted, and the blades uh, finish that they wanted. This one is a stonewash bead blasted blade with satin finish. And with Nick's beautiful logo, which is in there pretty deep. I don't know if you guys can tell. And he did this beautiful milling on my handles, which he called, I believe he called it the prismatic. Prismatic. Because it does give you that 3D effect. I don't know if the camera shows that. It definitely looks like. It's got some 3D going in there. Now he offers all kinds of uh, finishing on the handles and on the blade. I got a pretty standard pocket clip from Nick. Now, he had most of the pieces during the build when I visited him. I didn't expect him to finish it that day, but he did. Uh, and of course, watching a knife maker work on a knife, I definitely grow a more better appreciation of the process mind you Nick is a 21 year old kid with other interests ladies and what other 21 what other other interests 21 year olds have and he dedicated this day to me to finish my knife I was gonna film it but it was a long process he did a couple of things for me we barbecued we worked out it poured I got soaked it was just too much and daunting for me to and I'm, to be honest, folks, I'm just lazy and I didn't want to film too much. I filmed what I filmed from the last vid and unfortunately, but it was a big process, a long process. Nick had to uh, sharpen the blade. Actually, he had to grind the blade, um, which I got to see how he did this beautiful. He was explaining to me the whole process. I regret not filming it. It was very intricate and complicated to uh uh, non-knife maker like me, but I did appreciate the process. Now, he eyeballed the grinds. Uh, that is a skill. Um, he just he just eyeballs it. I, like most older people, my eyes are shot, and credit to Nick. He did all this by hand and by eyeballing. That's pretty awesome looking. I opted with a uh, stainless steel pivot. You could use, it does give you the option to get to get um, titanium. He offered the titanium. He could have anodized it um, any color I wanted, any color that you can anodize. I prefer this monochromatic look. I think it's pretty hot. Right, you can see the lock up right there. Overall length, this is a small knife. Overall length is about six inches. The blade, is about two and a half inches so it is a small little EDC knife titanium um, uh, fall backspacer so he mills it out a certain way to look like it's a floating backspacer I see a lot of knife makers doing it now that's pretty neat and again he did a nice stone wash on handles and it was just interesting to process. Now it is a smaller knife, so Nick said I have to kind of like learn because initially I would put now I got medium-sized hands and I would put my finger right here 
and it was difficult for me to open because I essentially am pressing the pocket clip onto the lock bar, onto the detent ball, onto the blade. And if I tried and tried and tried, it was very difficult. But he says it is a breaking in process and it will pop, it will get smoother. It is very smooth. It's a smooth knife. I love it. It's tiny. It's gone. Fits nice in the pocket. Right. I have some other knives to show you in comparison. Here is my Chris Goodwin knives. Beeb, beeb knot, BB knot, <laughs> and it's basically the same size. I think Nick might have him by like a little bit, a little bit. Just a comparison. You can see that the the bead knot has thicker titanium scales. Both have chamfering. Right there. And both have some kind of milling in this case circles, round holes, and uh, prismatic pattern and both have their own characters and swedges makes it the maker's signature blade I am a fan of smaller blades that's where my taste has evolved as of late a couple years ago with the gigantic folders I still have a couple of um, larger folders um, Another knife I'd like to compare it to is this small production variable X by Tactical Geek. The Tactical Geek is way smaller, but it's still a micro of flipper. This is actually a pretty neat production flipper. Big difference is, I don't know if the camera can capture it. Now I've never cleaned this or taken it apart. It does have a little grit when you're closing it. Whereas Nick and Chris Goodwin, their knives are just spectacular. Spectacular. Now my interest, of course, in this was heavily influenced by the Fast Bandit when he scored the prototype from Justin Laffer. And ever since then, I had to have it. Had to have it. What else did we do at Nick? So, if you guys didn't see my Instagram IG movie, I did show you guys my Iron Wolf. Um, I'll put the link to the original Iron Wolf video that I made. This, of course, is made by Berg Blades. And you may notice if you saw the last video that this had a lot of snail trails on the handles and Nick was kind enough to re-stonewash it for me and remove 98% of the snail trails. There are still some deeper markings and Nick offered to retumble it but I didn't want to be a pest. But now it looks pretty much good as new. I love this. I have an iron pup coming from a wiener and steel fan and they're gonna let me play with it a little bit. And I'll do a, a review if you guys got the iron pup. I think that was a limited run so that's a pretty good score. I myself did not get in on it. I had a few things coming in including these the micro so I passed up on it. I'm kind of regretting it now and I'm glad that a viewer is awesome enough awesome enough to let me check it out. Very nice. So Nick uh, stone wash the scales, the clip, and the four backspacer and again. I love that. So cool this iron wolf. Nick also perfectly centered it for me. Uh, I'm not sure if, when I did the vid originally if it was as quite as centered. I love the confidence in Berg Blaze that he did that. 
He's like, look at me, looking at you, looking at your blade, perfectly centered. Nick also had um, these spinners. This was an old project and he still had some laying around. I saw this laying around and I asked him, he had like about 10 of them, maybe more actually. And I asked him, hey, because the spinner, um, it wasn't put together. So the buttons and the, the bearings weren't put together. I just saw the titanium um, body. This is a bottle loafer with a hex, bottle loafer hex, pry bar laying around. I asked him, hey, do those work? And he popped one in together for me and I scored one nicely. If you are interested, go to Nick's uh, website. I'll put the link below and email him if you want. They, he does have still a few of these. I know the spinner thing might be up dead by now, but this is so cool because again, it's got function to it. Not only is it a spinner, it's a bottle opener, pry tool. So that's pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys, just a quick bit. It wasn't that quick, but just a quick overview on my micro. Peace.